super dramatic lighting effect. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at another microphone. It's the Tonor TC30. I am letting my beard grow. Let's get into it. Oh! Once you open it, you're gonna find this. You're gonna find the instructions menu. And we're gonna find the USB 2.0 to USB type C. We're also gonna find a cool looking pop filter, man. This is something else. And we get the microphone. Now this is a different design that I haven't seen around. Is why it got my attention. And well, I've tested a lot of toner microphones and I know they never disappoint. So uh, fingers crossed, I hope I don't jinx myself with that. Let's go ahead and get it out. Let me tell you something right quick. The packaging, it's on point. Thumbs up the toner for the packaging. So this is the microphone test. I am doing the proximity effect, talking into the microphone, and I am now going to be doing the plosives. Potato test, soda test, papa. Proximity effect, test right now this is a toner tc30 microphone this is a microphone test i am now going to be talking sideways on the microphone and i am now talking sideways on the microphone you want to go into control panel hardware and sound click on sound i don't like the new windows 10 the way they did it so i always go to control panel uh, you know just the way i did it go all the way to your recording settings and right here, make sure when you select the toner DC30, go into properties and go into levels and bring it down to about 60% if you are on Windows 10. Uh, for whatever reason, when you bump it up to 88, the way that it's set up by manufacturing, I guess, uh, it, it's too noisy. It, it, it picks up too much noise. So tip as a, and, and a reminder of a, of a setup for this microphone, bring it down to 60% to avoid crazy background noise. So what are my thoughts on the microphone sound quality and testing and checking the waves and ways to improve this microphone? I have to say that the sound quality is okay. It's not the most impressive. Now think about it, price per quality or price per performance. This is a budget microphone and the concept it's a very good concept. You get the shock mount, you get the microphone, you get a pop filter. This is like a starter kit. And one of the reasons why I wanted to review this microphone, it's because of the design. It kind of reminds me of, I mean, not even close, right? But the concept of one of these microphones that you don't have to have the microphone like this. Stand up like this, like every other condenser microphone, right? Like this, this one from toner and i like the and i really like the idea it's because it's sideways now quality sound quality how good will it be for you now i am listening to the quality right here and i like what i hear i really like what i hear now remember price and performance entry level you have to keep that in mind before you start throwing products underneath the bus. Are they going to be good? Are they going to deliver what you want? Because in all in, in all honesty, when a product doesn't deliver what I expect from it, I either don't review it or I leave a negative review. That's one of the two. And I don't want my channel based on negative reviews because people seem to not like it. When you leave a bad feedback on something that a fanboy really likes because it works for them, but it doesn't work for you, your opinion don't matter. It's their opinion, and now they call you lame. I made a review about these headphones two years ago, and people still bash me on it. Anyways, I still use the headphones, and I like them. But anyways, that's a whole other topic. Those were my, you know, my uh, ideas. But anyways, coming back to this microphone, is it good? Is it worth your money? Let me tell you something. It is worth your money. Should you buy this microphone? 
if you're on a budget, if you're title money, is it going to deliver? Yes, it is. Now, I'm going to give you some samples of gaming. Let's go to them right now. So now we are testing uh, audio. Let me show you. Oh, no, not that. Let me show you again. My... Where is it? Options. Let me show you my audio. I have it on boost. Master volume. I have it at 29. Let's go ahead and increase it just a little bit. And... I mean, you can play with, with your audio settings yourself. And while I'm recording a video, I'm talking, what so I'm not even fuck, concentrated. Yo. I'm not even concentrated. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to get destroyed here. Baby, that was a oh, perfect. Oh, dude, answer. yo, that middle building, bro. It's just camping out there with the sniper. All trash and shit. Bro, that's. Got him, baby. Garbage ass kid. Uh, was a bit mad. Oh, I hear someone coming. I'm dead. Bro. I'm dead, bro. Garbage. Garbage. Now you're. <sighs> Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Let me get my kill streak. So you're getting a quality test of this microphone on uh, when you're streaming or recording videos. You know what I mean? You kill this maggot. By the way, my gamer tag is I kill maggots. I'm dead. Damn it. You're dead. I'm coming for you. Oh, all right. Okay, so here I got another of my favorite games of all time. It's Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. Um, I still haven't beat the game fully, but I just want to show you my uh, quest. I'm going to be doing all of this within the next days because I'm kind of sick of Mono Warfare, bro. Like, I'm kind of sick of that game. It's, it's, it's becoming so annoying. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is the sound quality that um, we can get out of this microphone when you are recording, when you are live streaming. So that's the sound quality that you can get from this microphone. And why am I doing all these tests? Well, because some people on YouTube, they do like reviews and... They don't give you the full example of, you know, testing the waves, uh, testing the game, like games like I'm doing right now. Just people don't do that. And let's say I'm pretending like I'm live streaming right now. So I'm talking into the game. I'm interacting with the audience and whatnot. And at the same time, we get the game uh, running on the background with all of the all of the noise. You know what I mean? So let's see if I can bring this guy up here. Oh, bro, I wanted to bring him up there. You guys didn't even see it coming. He's deaded. I love that one. I love that one. So what are my final thoughts? I think that I've already said more than enough. With proof 
of the quality of this microphone. So I'm going to let you decide. Is this microphone worth it to you? To me, it is. It's just, it's just a good microphone for the money. Bang for your money. That's what I'm going to call it. I will see you guys in the next video. If you want to buy the microphone, it's going to be down below in the description. With that said, I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video.